The NFL and its fans have had a long-standing love affair for the defensive line position. Mean Joe Green, Deacon Jones, Bruce Smith, my old teammate Reggie White. And of course, we can't forget the famous sack exchange. Mark Gasson, Joe Klecko, Marty Lyons, and Abdul Salam. The sack exchange established a raging bull market for sacks. In recent years, the interior game and its need for athletes has been amplified with players like Aaron Donald, J.J. Watt, Cam Hayward, Chris Jones, and Fletcher Cox dominating this area of the game. It's no wonder the teams covet these top-tier athletes both in the draft market and when it comes to contract negotiation. Now at the tender age of 25, Quinnen Williams is the latest interior defensive lineman to receive a significant salary extension from the same team that drafted him. In this video, we'll explore the various factors that make him deserving of such a deal, analyzing his exceptional speed, quickness, and physicality. In his first All-Pro season, Quinnen recorded 12 sacks, 12 tackle for losses, 28 quarterback hits, and 55 total tackles. He also had a PFF grade of 90.1 and was the seventh highest rated defender with a pass rush grade of 84.1. All right, let's go to week one. Quinn Williams right here. That's a one technique. All right, he's on the inside shoulder of the left guard. Now, on this play, he's going to attack the rookie, Tyler Lindenbaum. And this is his game right here. He loves to attack the center. He's going to throw him out of the way. This ability just to be able to use his hands, now he gets right in the pass lane of Lamar Jackson. You can see Lamar Jackson is trying to make this throw into the back of the end zone except Quinnen had different thoughts. He basically saves a touchdown right there by batting that ball down. Let's watch him against Cleveland here because he's just as effective in the run game right here. Now, on this play, he's going to play the back shoulder of the Cleveland Browns center. So he's going to attack and he's going to drive the center, but he's going to be able to square up because here comes Nick Chubb. So watch him square up, get rid of the center, disengage from the center, and then take down Nick Chubb. All right, so he holds Nick Chubb to no gain by defeating the center is block right at the point of attack. On this play right here, Quinnen is what we call a zero technique. He's the nose tackle on the play. He doesn't line up on the center very often. He'll move to cover up the center, but he doesn't line up there very often. Now on this play, he's going to take an inside charge. They're running a stunt here. He's going to get free on the center. When he does, Aaron Rodgers is not ready for it. He beats the center with this, we call a rip move right there. See, he throws that left arm underneath the right armpit of the center. And now he's going to just use his power. This is straight power off a rip move. Now he wins. Now Aaron Rodgers. It happens so fast, normally Aaron Rodgers would be able to get away from most defensive tackles, but not Quinnen. Solo tackle, two sacks in that game against Green Bay, a bunch of game-changing type plays. I thought Quinnen Williams' best game as a New York Jet in three years was at Lambeau Field against the Packers and his newest teammate, Aaron Rodgers, because he just completely abused the interior of this offense line. And he's going to play inside out. So this is a stunt call. He's responsible for the A gap. Okay, on the outside, he's got the B gap. And DJ Reed's got the C gap right here. Okay, Quinnen right now is in the three technique. He's a three technique defensive tackle. The defensive tackle over here is in a one technique, threes and ones. Quinnen is an A gap player. Carl Lawson is a B-gap player. Quincy Williams is here. He's a C-gap player, and then DJ Reed setting the edge. Like, everybody's got to be in their gap. So watch how this works now. At the snap, they're all going to get to their gaps. But now Quinnen, with that penetration, is going to take down, he almost beats the handoff, and takes down Showtime Jones right there for a loss. But he sees the game like Richard Sherman. About as high praise as you can get. Rodgers in trouble again. And he's sacked again by Quinn and Williams. What a beast. Number 95 for the Jets. Here he is against Cincinnati. He's in a one technique. That's kind of where he lives. But he likes a four-point stance. He likes a four-point stance. I think he's, it keeps him lower. So he comes off on his charge low. Joe Burrow is skilled. He can defeat edge rushers coming off the edge. What he can't defeat is quick pressure right in his face. Like right here, Joe Burrow has got his feet set. 
He's ready to make this throw out here. Quinn Williams has other ideas as he collapses the pocket right there and not allowing Joe Burrow to step up. Uh, Quinn right here is in that one technique. Remember we talked about ones and threes. The three technique over here is between the guard and the tackle. Now he's going to attack this center, Mitch Morris. We have seen this before from Joe Burrow. These guys like Josh Allen, they can defeat edge pressure. They can feel it. They can't defeat quick pressure right up the middle. And that's what Quinnen's going to do to Mitch Morse. He's got the one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's just a question of just power. He's going to power Mitch Morse right into the lap of Josh Allen. He can't get away. You can't run. You can't hide right there. It's over. The play's over, and Josh Allen goes down. Sacks are important, but when you sack your division quarterback, it's worth a good sack dance. Now, Quinnen, he's going to attack the left guard, John Runyon, on this play. Lawson's going to get doubled here by the tight end and the tackle. So, really, Quinnen here has a one-on-one. -on -one. See, the center is going to slide this way. So, Quinnen, when he gets a one-on-one, -on -one, he sees it right away. And watch the power. He's just going to push this left guard and actually turn him completely around. That is unusual. John Runyon is blocking him with his backside. And he's going to run the offensive guard right into Aaron Rodgers and the ball's going to pop up. These are game-changing type plays. Like, he takes Runyon, and there's the ball up in the air. Second and 15. On the fake. Pressure coming. Rodgers hit. Ball is loose. Sitting on the ground. It's recovered by Aaron Jones. The Jets will do this from time to time. They'll overload one side. Like, you've got three defensive linemen right here on this side, and here's your fourth. And then you get... C.J. Mosley walked up right here to try and really take that guard and cover up the guard. They're all going to move. But the idea of this whole lineup right here is to be able to get Quinnen freed up one-on-one -on -one with the left guard, which they do, which is the rookie, Cole Strange. So the rookie is going to get – he's going to see what real power is all about as Quinnen gets a free charge because of the overload. So he sees that he's going to be soloed now, meaning one-on-one -on -one with the guard. Now he takes that inside rip right there. Like this move, it's quick. It's sudden. You never want to rush down the middle of an offensive guard or tackle. You want to rush on the edge. And Quinnen understands that. Get to the edge. Now you got to go win. So Mac Jones is standing tall like a statue right there. Time to take him down. Now Quinnen is in a three technique against Miami. And on the outside right here is a nine technique defensive end. So on the play, we're going to get this type of action right here. And Quinn is going to come inside here. You're going to see him just keep his eyes up as this play unfolds. There you go. You get, he's got his eyes up on the quarterback. But the ball's going to get knocked out right there. And the ball's on the ground. And Quinn sees it. And now become a bowling ball, a human bowling ball. Defenders in your way, you just run them over. Like it's just bowling for dollars. Just knocking them down right here. Like all you're thinking about is scoring a touchdown before he gets knocked down by an offense lineman. So tackles play ones and threes, all right, depending on the strength. So right here, Quinnen is playing to the tight end. See, the tight end is over on this side right now, okay? So with the tight end over here, he's now in this three technique gap right here. From here, whether it's run or pass, watch him play the play. That's the key. So th the Steelers are gonna run this wide zone on this play, all right? So all the linemen are pulling. He's going to get on the back of this tackle on the play. Now he sees the play. All right, now it's time to just get on your track shoes and go take Najee Harris down for the tackle on the other side of the field. That's a great play. Defeating the down block by the tackle and then chasing and running. Right here, Quinn is on the inside eye of the left guard, Ezra Cleveland. And the blocking scheme right here is a combo block. They're going to block with the guard and the tackle down on Quinn. So Quinn's going to play into the guard and is going to turn his hips, flip his hips here, all right, to defeat the tackle's block. He reads run right away. He sees the combo block right now. So there's the two-on-one. I mean, pretty basic blocking scheme right there. Double team. But watch him come out of the double team and get squared up. Like, he defeats it and he sheds the block. You watch him shed this guard block. He plays into the guard with both hands. Now, watch him right here. The key right now is to shed. It's to be able to stack and shed. That's the technique. Watch the footwork. Watch this footwork as he plays into the guard, power step, all right? Now, 
Re read the play. See, the play here is it's what we call a windback play. So on this play, Dalvin Cook is going to start one way and wind back this way. And Quinn reads it perfectly here. But he's got to be able to defeat the guard and the tackle's block to be able to defeat this wind back. So here he is. Now get rid of the block and go make the tackle. That's a great play against a double team and an elite back in Dalvin Cook. The defensive line position is deeply rooted in Jets history. Now in 2023, with a more experienced core of former rookies, the importance of re-signing a major defensive piece like Quinton Williams is pivotal for a team like the Jets. Given Robert Sala's background with a strong rotation of defensive linemen, securing a leader on the line was a top off-season goal for Joe Douglas. Now that Quinton Williams has put ink to paper and signed his extension, all Jet fans can look forward to Quinton dominating for years to come.